Hello, today we are going to draw an isometric sphere given its radius. As you can see, the isometric system is a system formed with three axes which are at angles of 120 degrees to each other. So setting your compass to the given length R, which we can see on the top left hand side of our screen, we are going to set our compass on the origin O, where the three axes intersect, and scribe six arcs on each of the three axes. Each axis has a positive and negative direction. So now we are going to draw a square in isometric view which appears like a rhombus. To do that we have to draw two parallel lines to each horizontal axis which will pass through our previously scribed arcs. To do this I use a 45 degree set square with a built in protractor as can be seen here in the video. So here we draw our second And now finally, we complete our square, drawing a line through the previously scribed arcs. To the left and now to the right. So this horizontal square, our rhombus, will have sides which are double the radius of the sphere we are going to draw. The central circumference of the sphere is going to be located within the square but it's actually going to look like an oval as it's in isometric projection or isometric view. We are going to name our previously described arcs from 1 to 6 as can be seen here in the video. The next step to draw this isometric oval we are going to join point 1 to point 5 then points 3 to point 2 point 1 to point 6 and finally point four to point two. To continue we draw a horizontal line joining the two extreme vertices of the rhombus which cut our previously drawn lines at two points which we will call point seven and point eight as can be seen here in the video. So now we are already have the centers of the four arcs that we are going to form the oval shaped central circumference. So setting our compass on point 2 and radius 2, 3, we scribe an arc to the right joining points 3 and 4. So with the same radius and centered on point 1, we scribe an arc to the right, joining points 5 and point 6. And to continue, we set our compass on point 7 and radius 7, 5. We scribe an arc joining points 5 to point 3, as can be seen here. And to continue with the same radius, setting our compass on point 8, we scribe an arc joining point 4 with point 6. So now we have the oval shaped central circumference, which is going to be the central circumference of the sphere that we are going to draw. As you can see, setting our compass on the original radius, we can show you that the radius of the oval-shaped central circumference appears greater than the given radius 
as is shown in isometric view. Okay, as you can see here, it's bigger. So to draw the sphere, we must use this bigger radius. So setting our compass to this new radius length, we draw a circumference in a thicker line, as can be seen here. So now we have our sphere from a given radius, which we drew with the help of an oval-shaped central circumference on the horizontal plane. But we could also have drawn the oval-shaped circumferences from the other two vertical planes. Here you can see the three planes and now also the oval-shaped circumferences inscribed in the other two, as can be seen here. And finally, the sphere that circumscribes all three ovals. So here you have it. So here we have a sphere drawn in isometric view. Thank you. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.